Hey, you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Listen, does anybody out here under the sound of my voice know anything about uh, straight broadcasting um, from StreamYard? If you do, can you hit me up on my email um, at Khadija Anwar at hotmail.com. That's my personal email. Khadija Anwar at hotmail.com. I really would appreciate that because um, <laughs> this is too crazy. I don't understand. Um, I tried to go live twice, maybe even three times. And there is a, um, a program that continues to show his face where the camera should be hitting me at. So now if you could even send me an email or something, if you're aware of that I'm using, and this is for that you can Okay, so if you got any clue, somebody out there that's a wizard, holler at me. <laughs> Please. Because it's the most frustrating thing in the world to be going live and you can't even see anything except um that black screen would exhibit whatever and it's backwards. That's the worst part about it. It's not even straight. So anyway, uh now I want y'all to hear me and hear me good. Because I, I got a few of y'all out there who get offended, and I'm sure there's some of my Caucasian listeners, and I and I hate that, you know, because y'all don't understand that it's so much deeper than the color of our skin. But that's okay. You won't get it yet. I can't get mad at you because you too. That means you just don't. You're not there yet. Okay. So when I speak of devils, and when white folk get mad, then I know that that's a person that doesn't want me to express. The oppression that they have put up on me freely. I mean, I'm not out here, uh, uh, you know, trying to beat you over the head with it because you a descendant, <laughs> a descendant of these of your forefathers. I'm just pointing out to you what you did, and because it's objective, you can't handle it. So I find myself in one of these situations um, with this right here. Because nobody in their right mind is going to be able to explain this away. And now that we're past the two-minute mark, let me holler at you. Okay? Let me holler at you to the sun. Go down. Um, white people in New York are told not to attempt to get monoclonal antibody treatment for doctors because Governor Hocho has prioritized it for non-whites. Let me repeat that. So, for all of y'all who talking shit to people like Kyrie Irving, to me, to anybody else, Aaron Rodgers, um, because like I said, um, I'm saying it freely. So that way I don't gotta be trying to be nervous about, you know, nope, I don't got it. This is, I don't have the shot. This is my reasoning. I wear a mask. I'm not an anti vascular Y'all do whatever you want to do. Allow me the right to die the way I choose to. I And don't give me that bullshit when I already know what the Trilateral Commission's uh, um, focus is. I already know. And anybody that's been around past 1976, you know, all they got to do, listen, what does the big new Brzezinski say? It's easier to kill, it used to be easier to control a million people than to kill them. Okay, so now you're just going to go off with us because you can't do anything about it. The cat out the bag. Alright? So, I suffer with blood clots. I choose not to take that shit. Now, I'm just exposing that. That is very personal. Right? Now, you know, I already said that people with blood clots can drop dead and all this kind of crazy stuff. 
but then you gonna make a mandate for people to get the goddamn damn shot? Are you a goddamn fool? Get the jab, 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 jab. Anyway, now you come across some stuff like this, which for anybody that's non-white, they already know what that, that they was like. Uh, uh. You're not going to use me as no functionary freaking puppet again. Uh-uh. Not like Henrietta Lacks. Not like none of this. Because now you got a memo that's sent by the health department Monday while white residents were told not to bother trying to get Pfizer, Plaxloy appeal, or monoclonal antibody treatments. Non-white race or Hispanic Latino ethnicity should be considered a risk factor. The document says in section mark eligibility for the two types of treatments. The rationale behind the move, the org says, stems from long-standing systemic health and social inequities sub uh, supposedly subjected on other races. So they, they vaccine got to be different, huh? Uh, such disparities have contributed to an increased risk of severe illness and death from COVID-19. The health department goes on to state in the bulletin. Okay. So don't give it to them. So focus on us. What, what, is, what am I reading here? The bizarre declaration comes from as the Omicron virus continues to spread across the country, ravaging the Empire State. White people infected with the you-know-what in New York State, the hardest-hit state in the country, are in jeopardy of being turned away from life-saving treatments in favor of a more at-risk race than other because of other at-risk races because of the national shortage of two promising medical types of, of medical treatment. You know, at this point, this shit is just sound like a bunch of damn co of, of propaganda. It don't even make sense to be science anymore. It, 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 it don't even make sense. This... You can't question the people. I can't even say the words I want to say on YouTube. What the f... In a shocking memo sent out by the state's health department and approved by Governor Kathy Holcher on Monday, white residents were told not to bother trying to get Pfizer, Plaxloid pill, and monoclonal antibody treatments. Non-race... Non-white race or Hispanic Latino ethnicity should be considered... A risk factor as long-standing systemic health and social inequities have contributed to an increased risk of severe illness and death from the COVID-19. The guidance comes as New York State set a one-day record of 76,555 positive COVID tests fueled by a moral crime with more than 41 of these cases coming from New York City, according to the data complied by the health department. However, the agency's website does not detail the races of those infected. From New York, data from New York City's official site shows the vaccination rate of white people at 63%, compared with 75% for Latinos and 58% for black residents, and an astronomical 97% for Asians. Damn. Uh, I'm not surprised that black people um, are uh, um, probably the lowest. And believe it or not, white people come in at 63%. So Latinos and the Asians are the highest ones. The state's midst of title COVID-19 or antiviral treatments authorized a severe shortage of anti or uh, or antiviral and monoclonal antibody treatment products sets out a list of eligibility requirements for two oral antiviral treatments that have been touted as available and life saving life saving, excuse me, by the organization in an October press release. Y'all, 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 y'all. I just want to know. It says, due to the significant surge in cases and reduced effectiveness of existing therapeutics due to the Amorocron, Amorion, just forget it, B2K variant, the agency further warned that supplies of the 
oral antivirals will be extremely limited. So only available to your black ass. Oh my god. I can't believe this. This is like soiling green or some shit. No. Oh my god. The data shows that for 42 state survey, 58% of white people have received at least one of the COVID vaccine, vaccine dose, which was close to the rate for Hispanic people, 56%, but higher than the rate of black people, 51%, while the overall vaccination rate across the states for Asian people was higher compared to the white people, 77% um, for the Asians. Lord Jesus, I I don't know. Please tell me what y'all think. You know, I, I could be a little bit, um, you know, crazy. So let me know what you think. So if you like what you hear, y'all, please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Oh, my God. The pure.